Today I'm gonna tell you what I wish I knew about tufting rugs. Now look, I've been working on it for about a month now, and I've made about three or four of them, so I do have an idea of what I'm doing. The first thing I wish I knew was just doing research. I'm a hands-on type of person, and I really wanted to just get right into it, but I ended up messing up quite a bit, and that costed money. Do research first. Find out the things that you like the most, like the fabric, technique, tools. Everything is up to you, and that's what will make you different from other people. So let's talk about fabric real quick. So as of right now, I use Monk's Cloth fabric, which is 100% cotton. Now yes, any fabric that you buy can and will rip if you do the techniques incorrectly. So altogether, you just need to find out what fabric you like the most, what you like working with, what works best with your tools. Now the cloth that I get, it ends up coming anywhere from 25 to 60 or 70, depending on how much I get. So it really depends on how big your frame is and how much fabric you want. The other fabric you'll need is yarn. Yarn could be anywhere from four to seven dollars, depending on where you go, and how much yarn you need, of course. Now tools, there is a very big variety of what you can get. The main tool that you need is is a tufting gun for sure. Now I use a AK-1 cut pile. Now once again, I do recommend doing your research because I was able to purchase mine for 135 and that was an in-person deal. Now you can get them for 135 online or even cheaper online, but of course it's gonna be the off brand, not the main brand, but they basically all work the same. Now of course for the next tool, you need a pair of scissors. You can get them literally anywhere. Make sure they can cut fabric well though. The next tool you'll need is glue, so for adhesive spray, I use this 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. It works perfect. I'd recommend not getting the Gorilla Spray because it does not work, for me anyway. The other glue that you'll have to get is carpet glue. Depending on how big of the jug that you get, it could be anywhere from $30 to around 60 or 65. I have multi-purpose adhesive, Roberts 3000 glue or something like that, so I'll put it on the screen here. And that's to lay on the back of the carpet so all of the yarn stays in place once it's done. Now the next tool that you need is going to be a shear. I use Beatro and this works perfectly fine for me. You can also get other shears online or on Amazon and they will work just fine. They come with a guide and whatnot. Now the beach road does not come with a guide. And for me personally, I know that I can't hold my hand steady going across an entire carpet, especially if it's large scale. Now I did make a guide for my shear. I'll be making a video on how I made it and how much it cost. And then of course, after that, you need a vacuum as well to clean up all the mess. Now it's going to be a massive mess at the very end. So make sure you vacuum up and you can even vacuum during the process of shearing. It helps a lot with bumps and how smooth it is, so make sure you do that too. Now, after you spend a lot of money on all of these tools, you'll be able to make your first rug. I didn't think it'd take as long as it does. For me, normally, a small rug takes around four hours. A larger scale rug, like my MTV rug, took about seven. Now, a quick tip, when you are using the tufting gun, on the fabric. Make sure that your lines are fairly close to each other. Otherwise, when you shear the rug, you're gonna have lines that separate the rug and it looks very uneven and weird. Make sure you have patience for doing this entire process because it does take a while. And even the glue takes around 48 hours to dry. Now for the final part of this video, I do wanna say that this is kind of a risk and reward type of job or hobby if you really wanna call it that. At the very end of the day, this is a risk and reward. So so if you take the risk to spend all of this money as a hobby or a job and you end up you know not liking it just remember I mean you can sell these things but you might not make the profit back but if you don't quit and you have patience and you keep on going you get better and you learn more you'll definitely be able to get the profit back don't quit after messing up your first rug I messed up around two or three so I know how annoying it is because I've done it myself At the very end of the day don't quit and keep on going. When it comes to selling these things, you have to be fairly smart. Uh, use social medias to your advantage and I'll make another video on how to do that. But hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes and my learning journey. I'll have more content on the channel showing how I make the rugs, the process, the products I use, and how to even make the guide. If you guys did like it, please click that like button, subscribe for more content, and hey, share it if you really like it. I will see you guys next time. Peace. One. I talk to no girls, yeah, but I'm feeling one Get up in her too, I'm a healing one You won't give me your heart, I guess I'm stealing one Yeah, back when I told you
And you were the one I still mean it now You just being you